As we continue to analyze graphs of functions, let's talk about symmetry. There are two types of symmetry, even and odd. A function is said to be even if f of negative x is equal to f of x. I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's say we have this function here. f of x is x to the fourth minus 3x squared. So what I want to do is I want to figure out what is f of negative x. And so everywhere I see an x in my function, I'm going to replace it with a negative x. And then I want to simplify this as much as I can. Well, what's negative x to the fourth? Well, that's negative x times negative x times negative x times negative x. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive, and then another negative times a negative is a positive. So that winds up just becoming x to the fourth power. And then negative x squared, that's also going to be just a positive x to the second power. And notice, that's exactly what I started with. So that equals f of x. So this function is what we call even. Now let me give you a visual interpretation of what that means. So if I take my calculator here and I graph this, this is what I'm going to get. And notice on this graph, what that means is that if I have, let's say, uh, 1, f of 1 is equal to negative 2. Well, f of negative 1 has the same value, negative 2 for an output. So every input gives me an output, but then the opposite of that input gives me the same output. So for example, if I plugged in, I don't know, let's say 3. So when I traced it at 3, I would get an output of 54. Then at negative 3, I should also get 54. And that indeed is the case. So what you can see is happening here is that this graph is symmetric about the y-axis. If I folded this graph on the y-axis, the graph would go right on top of itself. So that's what an even function is. Now an odd function, on the other hand, is when f of negative x actually gives me the complete opposite of the original function f of x. So I'll show you that with an example. All right, let's say that we have f of x is 4x cubed minus x. So let me figure out what is f of negative x. So I'm going to replace every x with negative x. So I'm going to get 4 negative x cubed minus, and now careful here, negative x, or the opposite of x. Okay, let's simplify. Well, first of all, what's negative x to the third power? Well, that's negative x oops, times negative x times negative x. Well, a negative times a negative times a negative is a negative, and then we have x to the third power. So this is going to give me negative 4x to the third power. And then minus, but minus a negative becomes a positive, so plus x. Now, that doesn't look like the original, obviously, but if I take the opposite of the original, or in other words, if I factor a negative out of this, I'm going to get 4x cubed minus x. And that is the opposite of the original function, f of x. And so therefore, f of negative x resulted in the complete opposite of the original function. So I have the complete opposite of my original function, 4x cubed minus x. What does that mean graphically? Let's take a look. Let's visualize this. What if I have 4x cubed minus x, and then I graph that? Now notice this is not symmetric about the y-axis. And you might have guessed, oh, then it's probably symmetric about the x, and that's not true either. This is what we call symmetric about the origin, which means when I plug in, let's say, let me trace this. So when x is 1, it jumps up to 3. When x is negative 1, it jumps down to negative 3. When x is 2, for example, it jumps way up to 30. When x is negative 2, it'll go way down to negative 30. So that's symmetry about the origin. So even in odd functions, if it's even, it's symmetric 
with respect to the y-axis, WRT with respect to, and if it's odd, it's symmetric with respect to the origin. So if you're just looking at graphs, then you can think of the visual symmetry here, symmetric about the y-axis, symmetric about the origin. But if you're just dealing with equations, then you can evaluate them like we did in these two examples.